everyone, my name is Essence Bennett. I am serving as the SGA president for the 2020-2021 academic school year. So I'm just coming here to say welcome back to our returning students and a special shout out to our incoming freshmen. Thank you for choosing the Catholic family. So today I'm gonna to be serving as your guide as we see a, some new things that's coming to Coppin just in the light of everything we've been going through for the past however many months because it's starting to all blend together. But before then, we're going to go right to Dr. Jenkins for a welcoming message. Thank you, Essence. To my returning students, welcome back. To those who are joining us for the first time this fall, I am honored that you are joining the Eagle Nation. You know, on behalf of the First Family, our faculty, and our staff, we want to wish you a safe and successful semester. For the past several months, we have been developing policies and procedures to ensure that the current environment does not interrupt your educational goals. We want you to continue moving toward earning your degree and enjoying your college experience. So for my faculty and staff, I greatly appreciate your tireless commitment. And students, I wanna thank you for your steadfast resilience. We're going to get through this together and we're going to do it by being Eagle Strong. So I want to see you in a few weeks. I wish you all the success, and I look forward to seeing you on campus. Thank you, and go Coppin. Essence, I'm gonna kick it back to you. Thank you, Dr. Jenkins, for that. So here, I'm just walking now. Um, like I said, I will be your guide today just to show you about a, little, a few of the changes that we're making as far as on campus. Um, let me not fall down these steps, first of all. But you can also follow the president, at Coppin President, on Twitter and get all the updates for him as well. So now we're just walking to the science building. Got a little bit of construction going here because there's our new school of business being designed. So business majors, y'all better look out. Y'all gonna be lit. Period. We're going to see how things are operating. Um, we're going to make sure we just focus on everything as far as face covering, sanitation, and all of our social distancing measures, okay? We ain't trying to spread no germs as much as possible. One of the first signs you'll see in the buildings is this do the five. So it has five ways to make sure that you don't spread COVID-19. So you'll be seeing a lot of stickers around campus. One of the main ones being the mask required. everyone to practice social distancing while you're waiting for the elevators when you come on you'll see some nice placement going on they're encouraging only two people to an elevator so you might have to get to class a little early but no more crowded elevators so we're going to take a look at our ladies restroom so i'm going to just enter here <laughs> so um, it'll definitely be clean, more sanitizing things going on. And just make sure staying clean. Don't forget to wash those hands, sweetie. And it gives you tips on how. 20 seconds, do more if you like. And for my men, y'all not exempt, so make sure y'all wash those hands too, please and thank you. All right, and just to make sure, if you didn't think you got it good enough, baby, that Purell get you right every time. But that doesn't mean you don't wash your hands. You wash your hands and you use this, okay? Amen. The great new additions for the upcoming semester is they finished the tallest ballroom, so let's go check it out. Mmm, y'all. It is giving, okay? It's giving venue, period. Look at this. Got a stage, a dance floor. Alright guys, so now we're going to head down right to Talent Center to see what's new with dining. So, let's start our walk. So 
one of the biggest changes with dining is that everything is to go. So you'll get your food and take it right back to your dorm. If you're not feeling cat food that day, you still have Subway that will be open as well as the convenience store. So you got a few options if you're not feeling it. But that's the biggest change, so be mindful. So last but not least, those of us who are living on campus, you can expect to see some changes within the residence halls. So for one, it is one person to a room just to make sure that we can do adequate social distancing. Upon check-in, you will receive a safety kit, including a mask, and just make sure that you are expecting to see safety signage everywhere. So just follow the guidelines and the rules, please and thank you. We have officially come to the end of the tour. Thank you for taking this journey with me across campus. Um, I know everything isn't as ideal as, it, as we would like it to be, um, as far as our campus community, we've all been dealing with this pandemic as well as our home, personal, social, anything life. Um, so it's been a lot for all of us. So I just want everyone to remember to be strong, stay positive, reach out when you need help, um, especially take advantage of the services on campus, take advantage of opportunities that present itself um, as far as your friends, family, any support system that you have. Um, I'm openly accessible. You can email me, ebennett00 at student.coppin.edu. I'll respond, um, and if we need to, we can find necessary resources for you. Anything else, just reach out, and it's a lot, but we're going to get through it together. Um, I love you guys, and go Coppin'.